Okay, I'm here and I'm releasing the Bedwars plugin finally. Took me forever, but I just had a bunch of like side projects. School isn't that big of a problem. I'd say it's just more side projects. Downloads in the description if you want to skip all this, by the way. Uh, but I will be showing you how to use the plugin and what it does. So basically, it's like a Bedwars practice, except you can make your own courses, except. This was done before the custom practice maker, so technically, I, I don't know if they can sue me. They probably can't. Uh, so you see I got the, the checkpoint back there. There's a diamond block, and uh, that's the checkpoint. And there's a bunch of wool, and I could build to the gold block. There's a gold block underneath here. Um, so if I step on it, it says I complete the course, and I complete the course. And that's, that's the game, and you can build your own courses. Oh, my friend and I made this a while back. Yeah, this is really old. <laughs> There's also to get to the other side mode, you can just type in that command and to enable, disable, whatnot. And basically what it does is the blocks don't break, so it's better for multiplayer. Because if you don't have this on when you're playing with friends, all the blocks are going to disappear as soon as one anyone falls. And it's going to be a disaster. Now another cool thing, if I get to the checkpoint over here, and uh, to get to the other side mode, everyone gets the checkpoint so people don't, so like bad people don't just get left behind. I feel like there's a better way to do this, but I'm too lazy to implement it, and I'm kind of in a rush. Again, I complete the course, I did it. Uh, you can also use this for like bridging, so if you want to, if you have a bridging map, then you could use it for this. You could put like gold blocks at the end, I might not add a timer. So it checks how long it took you to get there or something. That would be cool. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Now I'm going to show you how to install the thing. Okay, so something very important is uh, you have to have a spigot server for this, and now some bad computers might not be able to run both a server at like the thing at the same time. So you might want to get a server host like Eternos or Minehut to run it for you, but even now it might be a little laggy. So you have your 1.8.9 spigot server right here, and you have the plugin section, and you slapify it in here. You start up the server by double clicking on this jar file, and then you win. I'm only going to be linking the jar file. If you want to learn how to make Spigot Server, then search up any tutorial on YouTube and you'll find it instantly. Oh uh, yeah, that's going to be the end. Okay, bye.